Hi, my name is Amanda, and this is my literary analysis on And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This part of the book is important to shaping the plot because this is the part when they start to have an idea of who UN Owen really is. This scene is also when they realize that they have to be careful to not trust everyone. A quote that relates to this is, he paused and then said, there's one other little fact. A pane in the dining room window has been smashed and there are only three little soldier boys on the table. Page 242. The significance of the soldiers to the plot is that the soldiers disappear whenever someone dies. However, in this part of the book, a soldier disappeared, but they're pretty sure that the person didn't really die. The reason I chose this to be the new book cover for And Then There Were None is because the ten guests were trapped on the island because there was a storm, so they couldn't get to the mainland. Emily Brent demonstrates a great dynamic character because she really changed for the better as the story goes on. Shortly after Emily Brent arrives at the house, someone accused her of being the killer, but she quickly denied that statement. This tells me that she is very doubting of other people and that she believes that she could never do anything wrong. Although this may be true, Emily Brent shows great change as the story goes on. For example, she is able to comprehend that she isn't perfect. This tells me that she is sort of hopeless and that she feels like anything could happen and be true based on the situation she's in. My first theme is things aren't always as they seem. This theme is shown throughout the book and then there were none. I first got this message when the message on the gramophone first played. This is because the guests had no idea of what they were in for and they just thought it would be for exactly what the letter said. Also, this theme is displayed by the fact that a thought to be trusted person is killing a bunch of people and that they are maybe not as they seem. My second theme is justice. This theme is relevant to and then there were none for many different reasons throughout the book. For example, this theme shines through with the fact that all of the guests are involved in some sort of murder and that they were all chosen by the killer to come to the house. Another example of this is at the end of the book. At this time, Vera Claythorne shot Philip Lombard, which makes her the only one alive. Vera felt very depressed, so she ended up hanging herself, which was the price she had to pay. To me, this theme means that if you do something that may not be the best choice, you may pay for it.